Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut. And of course, this is the Baseball Hut, and uh, we talk about New York Mets, and obviously the Mets are playing really well. Uh, the 9-3, and three, they're pitching great. Uh, the offense has been doing very well. They're third in runners in scoring position in all baseball. A big improvement. That was really the major problem. Uh, obviously, um, we've talked about this player. This is Mike Conforto over the last uh, month and a half. What is going on with this guy? Now, he's not going to be coming back to the Mets, but I thought it was interesting to continue to still talk about him because there's been no talk about him at all. But there was a little report out there. Let me read you this. This is from SNYTV.com. Here's what's going on with Michael Conforto's free agency. Now, you can't, like, screw up a free agency worse than what Michael has done. He had a, he had contract negotiations with the Mets last spring training. The Mets offered him five years at $100 million and six years for $120 million. He turned it down. He went on and had one of the worst free agency seasons we've seen in a long time. And uh, he's still a free agent. He's the last free agent. Now, he does have a qualifying offer attached to him, so any team that signs him is going to have to give up a draft pick. That's not happening. So he's gotten until the middle of July when we had the draft to sign. He's not going to sign anybody. No team's going to sign him now because all the teams are, are scouting all the, all the uh, amateur players in college and in high school. There's been little buzz about Conforto's possible landing spot. With the regular season two weeks old, Former Mets outfielder Michael Conforto remains on the free agent free agent market, and he might not be close to finding a landing spot. He's not signed until after after the amateur draft in July. Robert Murray of Fansided said during the Baseball Insiders podcast that he doesn't think Conforto will sign soon, and that the independent league Long Island Ducks recently checked in about the potential of signing him. It is close to impossible to envision any scenario where Conforto considers signing with the Ducks. Yeah, but if he doesn't have any playing time, and he's trying to show teams that he can that that he's ready to play in terms of his rust and his health, uh, I think it would be smart for him to decide with some independent team to just to maybe in June, maybe end of May, early June, to work to play for a team for a couple of months to get himself ready. Because if any team signs him. He's going to have to go to the minor leagues for at least two weeks to get at bats. That's my opinion. Conforto's agent, and clearly, you got a lot going on. He really screwed this one up, too. Scott Boris said on March 30th that he injured his right shoulder in January and was waiting until he got his arm strength back for ramping up contract negotiations. At the time, Boris told multiple reporters, including the munchkin Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic, that discussions with teams about Conforto had restarted about a week prior, and that the reason he was still unsigned was not economic. Well, let me tell you something. When they say it's not economic, it, what's that thing about the old uh, New York Giants uh, general manager used to say? When it's not about the money, it's about the money. He thought he was going to get a big contract, and he royally screwed this all up. SNY's Andy Martino reported on March 17th, and I said that about the contract. But he met... Him signing with an independent team would not be the worst thing because he needs to get his reps. He needs to get a Batson. He needs to play the field. And quite frankly, he screwed this whole whole entire thing up. Wow. But anyway, let me know what you think about this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. We'll have plenty of stuff. Offbeat stuff. Always concerned the New York Mets. And obviously, this is a former Met. And I find this interesting that he doesn't have a team. So thank you, and I'll see you later.